Hi everyone, my name is Natalie DC. Welcome back to my channel. I am a reader, writer, and artist here to talk about art with you. Yes, I am in front of the camera today to give you a tour of my Scholastic Mixed Media Senior Art Portfolio that I submitted in 2021 when I was a senior in high school. I'm really proud of this collection of artwork, not because it won a lot of awards or anything. We'll get to the awards that some of the pieces did win later on in the video, but I just wanted to show off this collection because I'm really proud of the work I did and I don't think Scholastic really valued the work as much as I did. Obviously I'm the artist, I value it the most out of anyone, but yeah, I do wish it got more recognition, but what you gonna do, that's Scholastic. Wanted to do this video for quite a while. Uh, there are six pieces in total in the portfolio and I will be going through the mediums I used, my process, as well as talking a little bit about the meaning of each piece. And at the end, I will be providing tips to anyone who is wanting to also submit senior art portfolios to the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, tips on how I won the awards that I did, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's get started. I titled this senior art portfolio Mind's Journey as I viewed it as a journey from self-loathing to self-acceptance. Each piece is sort of a piece of that journey from self-loathing to self-acceptance. It's basically like a step-by-step -step sort of process in that journey that one takes. The first piece in this portfolio is from front to back. It is an 8 by 10 inch abstract acrylic painting. It depicts black and white swirling colors in sort of an abstract fashion that lead up to these two hearts one at the bottom and one at the top. The one at the top is a full heart and the one at the bottom is a broken heart. I did this abstract style as I was very inspired by, at the time, the style of the work uh, Cup of Jasmine on YouTube. I loved her style of painting and I wanted to kind of replicate that flowy painterly style in my own work. So this was one of my first tries using the style on such a large canvas. And I'm really proud of this piece. Basically the hearts depict two sides of a heart, one whole and one broken. Overall, this piece symbolizes the denial that often shrouds self-loathing. So on your outside, you're showing that you're very happy, but on the inside, you're actually not, hence the two hearts in the piece. I wanted to start off this portfolio very black and white, very monochromatic, as I wanted to kind of um, use colors as well to depict that slow progression from self-loathing to self-acceptance. As you will see in the next pieces, it will get more and more colorful. I will also put up pictures of close-ups of the hearts and the pen that I used to dot the hearts. This was a very tedious process as there are a lot of dots. I kind of used a pointillistic style in like dotting and I used a bobby pin. Basically, I took a bobby pin and I split it open and I used the biggest part of the top of the bobby pin and I dipped it in paint and dotted and dipped it in paint and dotted and kept doing that for each and every dot. So each and every dot took a lot of work. It wasn't like a quick just splotch on there. Like I really took time to make each dot very precise. Hence why I'm so proud of this piece because it did take me quite a while, probably like a few days of continuous work to complete. Not the biggest piece in this portfolio as you will definitely see, but yeah, I really like this piece and I thought it was a very good beginning to my mind's journey art portfolio. The second piece in this portfolio is Fractured, which is a 9 inch by 12 inch acrylic and tape on canvas mixed media painting. So this piece, just to describe it a bit, it's sort of an abstract-ish self-portrait. And then I cut out little triangles of tape, again with a tedious process, I cut out little triangles of tape from a bunch of sparkly washi tape I had and stuck them on in various patterns inside the face and eyes. I basically had to use negative space and sort of unconventional textures and materials to kind of portray detachment from reality, sort of that next step in the sort of self-loathing to self-acceptance process. Pretty monochromatic in its color scheme, but there is a little bit of color popping through, which I sort of did on purpose, because as I said, um, I want the colors to kind of go from black and white to full on color by the end of the portfolio, which you will see. But again, I'm sort of in, still in that abstract style, still portraying that I can work with multiple medium, which I will tell you later on in my tips section of this video is very important when you want to submit a portfolio anywhere, but specifically also important for the Scholastic Art and Writing competition. But yeah, I really like this piece. As you can see, 
behind me. It is hanging right there. Hi. The next piece in this portfolio, I meant for it to be the middle piece because I believe initially this was going to be a five piece portfolio, but then I realized Scholastic needed six pieces, so I had to like scramble. But anyway, this was meant to be sort of the middle piece. It's called Centipedes or The Purge. It is my biggest piece in this collection. It is a whopping two feet by three feet and it basically uses acrylic pastels pipe cleaners and cut out newspaper on a giant sheet of cardboard this piece like i said is basically the portfolio's climax i titled it the purge as it's sort of meant to represent the purging of negative emotion as you can see the figure is kind of being purged of its negative emotions which i represented using little curled up pieces of pipe cleaners that were meant to represent centipedes hence the title i really like this piece now that i look up at it reflecting on it i do like the sketch better which I can actually show you. I can actually show you the initial sketch for this piece. So this is it. I like it better. The proportions are a bit better. I'll just zoom in a bit here so you can see. So it's supposed to be like a pile of centipedes at the top coming out of this person with like the center of their heart and then kind of centipedes leaking from their hands. Like I thought that looked cool. But anyway, I like the proportions better in this because in the final piece, it's kind of lopsided, like the big circle at the top, as you see is much bigger than the actual figure itself so that ends up being the centerpiece more than the actual figure and to cancel that out because i didn't plan on it being so lopsided i added cut out pieces of newspaper that i ended up painting white over because the newsprint was a bit distracting and i pasted those on either side of the figure just to balance out the symmetry of the piece and it kind of goes with the whole triangle pointillism theme that was going throughout the other pieces that i just showed you especially fractured kind of that triangles around the figure so i did make it work while this isn't my favorite piece in the portfolio it does hold a special place in my heart for its message and it did win an honorable mention again i'll show you a couple uh, detail shots of it because it's quite huge i had a hell of a time trying to take pictures of this thing and this was i believe the last piece that i made for the portfolio so this isn't in chronological order this is just going the order that i put it in the portfolio as i saw fit for the the whole mind's journey but yeah this was actually the last piece i made the next piece in this portfolio is something a little bit out of my element it is a mobile it's 12 inches by 12 inches by 9 inches and it's made from cardboard pipe cleaners wire paper clips tool paper cranes and foam, a little bit of foam and beads. If this is looking familiar, there she is, right over here. You can't see all of her kind of floating here. Sometimes I hit her when I'm on my way to my desk. I will show you pictures, more detailed pictures here. But yeah, this is the most elaborate of the six pieces, to say the least. This took me quite a while. I worked off and on on it as I was working on the other pieces in this portfolio. Basically, this piece is meant to demonstrate self-expression. So after the purging of negative emotions, I wanted to express something more colorful, more fun, more playful, more whimsical. So initially, I wanted this to be a headdress that you would wear on your head so that it looked like you were kind of in the clouds, so like head in the clouds sort of. But then I thought this would actually be cooler as a mobile, the origami cranes like hanging down with the tool looking all sparkly. Like I thought it just looked so pretty and whimsical. So I, this piece does hold a special place in my heart. It at one point hung in the middle of our bedroom from the ceiling fan because I just loved it so much. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Unfortunately, it didn't win anything from Scholastic because Scholastic's kind of afraid of things that look weird <laughs> in my opinion. I still really love this piece. It's titled Flight, if I didn't mention that. And yeah, basically it's supposed to represent pure childlike wonder and self-expression and experimentation of self. For me as an artist, I'd never worked with so many different materials materials on something that was not on like flat surface like paper or, or canvas um, so this was definitely an experiment and challenge for me as an artist to kind of sculpt these materials in the way I saw fit and yeah I'm really proud of myself for making something so different from what I usually make so yeah I'm glad I could share it with you guys even if it didn't win anything from the Scholastic competition the next piece in this portfolio is roses it is a 9 inch by 12 inch acrylic painting that also has bits of washi tape and dried rose petals on it hence the name. <laughs> this is a self-portrait, so completely a self-portrait kind of delving away from the abstractness, though there are remnants of that around the figure. And it uses a variety of colors and mediums, old ones like the cutout you know, triangles of washi tape from the beginning of the portfolio, and new like the dried rose petals and the little cutout rose petal heart on my cheek. And it's meant to represent sort of the beauty of self-confidence. So this is the piece that really to me screams self-confidence and self-love. I love how the colors of this turned out, and this is actually one of my 
my favorite portraits I've probably ever painted. I'm good at portraits, but not painting them, and especially with skin, I struggle. But with this piece, it just came so easy to me, and it really felt like fate the way this piece came together. I was so proud of the way my face turned out, even though some people in my family don't think it really looked like me at the time. I still think it, it really represents me and how I was feeling at the moment, sort of trying to channel that self-love and self-expression that I wanted this piece to portray. And yeah, I really love it. It's probably one of my favorites of this portfolio, both aesthetically and because of what it means to me. And it's one of the most, quote, successful pieces of the portfolio because it actually did win a silver key in the Scholastic competition. So it was one of the best performing pieces in the portfolio. While the whole portfolio as a whole didn't win any awards, uh, much to my disappointment because I really spent a lot of time and commitment on this collection of pieces, I'm still, again, very grateful for the opportunity to experiment with my style so much and to really create a, a conceptual portfolio that really screamed what I was uh, feeling and going through at the time of making them. But that said, the last piece in this portfolio is from beginning to end kind of a nod from front to back was the first piece and from beginning to end is this piece again it's kind of that same abstract style i wanted to be basically book and the portfolio on either sides with that same abstract style only using very different color palettes so the first one was very black and white and the last one is very very bright vivid and colorful so it's basically meant to kind of mirror its black and white counterpart this is an 11 inch by 13 inch acrylic painting and basically it's meant to kind of cap off the journey by celebrating the beauty of finally being being able to express oneself and sort of celebrating that achievement in one's journey and one's life. This was actually the first piece in this portfolio I made. So it's kind of weird how that happened in the beginning, the first piece I made and it I kind of capped off the portfolio. I kind of like how I did that. But because of that, it doesn't have as much detail as its black and white counterpart does because I was kind of first experimenting with this abstract, wavy, colorful style that again is reminiscent of artwork that I have seen and admired from the work of Cup of Jasmine. I use a very bright colors pretty much straight from the tube. While I wish there were some parts that were more evenly uh, blended out, could have been a better ombre in my opinion, but still really love how this piece turned out. I love the way the colors make me feel and I love the feeling of remembering what it was like to make this because it was just so freeing being able to experiment with this new style. For these reasons, it's why I capped this off as my last piece. So yeah, those were all six pieces. I'll just give you a few tips if you happen to be a high school student wanting to submit your artwork as a senior art portfolio. Uh, last I checked, you can only submit art portfolios to Scholastic if you're a senior in high school, um, but they may have changed that, I'm not sure. In any case, I'd like to give you some tips. While my portfolio didn't really perform well in their standards, I didn't get like a, one of those big awards that they give portfolios that they really love because mine was well, pretty unconventional in its themes and I've noticed with Scholastic, they very heavily favor realism and portraits and still lives and just very traditional, quote unquote, like artistry. They don't really favor very artistic, expressive works like the ones that I created, sort of using unorthodox materials as I did. But that's just my experience. It's just my opinion. If you feel differently, feel free to share your story in the comments. I would suggest if you want to really perform well, like if that's your goal to get a lot of awards, say definitely lean into realism, portrait making, still life, all of that. But my main tip, basically, if you want to perform well in your portfolio, in any portfolio, if you're submitting it to Scholastic or an art school, is to very much experiment with mediums. Show the people what you can do in any and all mediums that you are skilled at. Whether that be graphite, you can have a piece that's in graphite, a, a painted piece, a mixed media work, a sculpture, sketches, all of that will earn you points with whoever you're trying to impress. While I never went to art school, I used to always binge videos where people share their portfolios they, that they sent to art schools and their number one tips as well were to experiment with mediums. Never be afraid to try a new medium and show, whether it be the art school or Scholastic, the competition, what you can do. Don't be afraid to show them that you can use a wide range of mediums. Don't stick to one thing because or else you, you won't stand out in their minds. So that's my number one tip if you are going to submit a series of artwork to a competition or to an art school, definitely experiment and use a wide range of mediums. I, I do believe I did that uh, with my portfolio, but again, I don't think it was sort of the art style that Scholastic values, in my opinion. But yeah, I hope this video is enjoyable. It's a bit different from my normal content, but I, I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I've had this video idea rattling in my mind for quite a while. Like I said, I 
always watch people on YouTube talk about their art portfolios and I said why not share my art portfolio, my one and only art portfolio that I've ever made in my life that I'm super proud of to the Scholastic competition. Again, even though I didn't win much, I'm still really happy with how each and every piece turned out and I'm very happy and honored to be sharing my work with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this type of content, please give it a like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite piece was, or maybe talk about your experiences submitting art portfolios, whether that be to the Scholastic competition or to art schools that you've applied to. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, month, whatever you're feeling, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!